in this video we want we are going to import data in a custom object from a csp csv file using a data loader uh, we are going to import the data from the csv file into this custom object called properties now properties my custom object which i have created in this or let's go ahead and get started by clicking on the quick find box let me just quickly go to the settings setup and then i can show you where you can find the data loader wizard so in the quick find box uh you can just write down the data loader and you'll see the data loader in the search result just click on that and the system will ask you to download a setup for the data loader using which you can import the data directly from the csv file we can import the data using data import wizard as well but in that case we cannot import more than 50000 records at a time so for this purpose we are using data loader now as, as soon as you click on the data loader thing uh the data loader it will give you the links to download data loader for windows as well as for mac now as for this i've already downloaded this application which you can see here to open the data loader so now now this is how a data loader wizard looks like as this is a brand new object properties if i talk about i want to insert data into application into the application so uh, as you can check there are in total i guess 51 yeah 51 odd records in my custom object properties and i'm going to add 50 52 or more records which are there in my csv file to this particular custom object now how you going to go about it now let's open up our data loader wizard now this is our data loader wizard since this is our new custom object called properties i'm going to insert 50 or 52 whatever number it is this is going to show up later in that we are going to insert data to this custom object by clicking on the insert now the system will ask me to select the data object select your salesforce object and your csv file so for this particular video we have uh, we are going to take into consideration property custom object and and now we'll go and browse the csv file so for that i have prepared one csv file by the name we just property bulk yeah so here are some records in this csv files which we are going to import to this custom object now you have selected the property object now this is my salesforce object and this is my csv file i'll click on on the next button now this will tell me that how many number of records are there in that csv file so 52 So 52 records are there. Simply go click, uh, just cross. You can just go and cross check the record count, and just if everything goes well, just click OK to proceed. Now there's an interesting thing. That's our next step. Step three, that is mapping to map your CSV columns to the Salesforce object. Now this is the current field mapping. How it is, how it looks like. So you're just going to create or edit a mapping. Now on the top of it, you can see the mapping that is there, or the naming convention that is there maintained in the Salesforce for the property object. And now these are some columns that exist in the CSV file. Now I can do two things. Uh, now I can just first go and uh, ask my system to auto match fields to column, and then I can just later on cross check the same and make the necessary amendments, and can save the mapping. So let's just go and let's see. if my system will be able to catch the matches so now i click on as soon as i click on auto match fields to column now i can see uh the fields that were there in the salesforce object got automatically mapped to the columns present in the csv file so now price is mapped against price and underscore c that is my custom field property name got mapped with name street address with mapped with street address so i guess it all looks good by using this auto match fields so i'll just simply go ahead and click on the okay button now this will show me the current field mapping uh, price is mapped to my price property name is 
map to name street addresses map to peel street address so it all looks good for now so now let's move to the next step that is step 4 by clicking on the next button now uh, the system will ask you to select the directory where your success and error files will be saved now this is something that uh, comes with data loader once your import is finished it creates a log of success and error messages so this starts from the same directory where you want to save your success and error files so i have simply browse desktop for the same and i'll just go ahead and click on the finish button now as a warning it will show you have chosen to insert new records click yes to begin i'll just go ahead and click yes to that now my progress has been started now let's see how many got success and got failed okay so we have processed 52 out of 52 records this is my insertion rate and now these are the five there are 50 success and two errors now let's go and check the error values so here in the operation finished toast message you can see your successes and the error records as well so let's go and check out these two error records so yes so in this you can see there is property name there is street name and the error comes in invalid number dollar so that is something which i have deliberated put into those accounts so there you can see a price and there it is dollar dollar which is a text field type but the price field type in salesforce is of currency so there has to be some numeric value that should be there in the csv file so i'll just go ahead and ignore these records i just deliberately uh, entered text values in this particular column so that i can just go ahead and show you the error message and the thing how it look likes for the error records so i'll just simply close and avoid these two messages and i'll say that okay just go ahead and do the insertion for your 50 records okay yeah so here it is operation finished we have successfully inserted 50 records i'll just press okay now look, let's go back to our salesforce org now initially we have seen that there were 51 records so i believe we have added 50 more records to it so i can just simply go and refresh the same object to ch check the count whether now the count has increased to 101 so these were the 51 initial records and yes i can check there in total 101 property records so yes so we have successfully inserted 51 using the data loader to our custom object called property so i hope this video was helpful